What's up YouTube? Um, today we're going to be playing around with some leather again. Got some scrap pieces. Well not scrap pieces. When you buy a piece of leather, especially a low quality leather like I buy, it comes, the edges come all curled and messed up and lots of imperfections and stuff. So if you ever want to do some leather work and you order a, a side or a shoulder or something, don't expect to get a big pretty piece because all around the edges look like this and it'll have marks all over it and stuff so we're going to try to use these not so good pieces for uh for something i think i'm gonna build try to build me a little survival tin belt pouch holder anyway but we'll see we'll see how it goes i'll take y'all along we'll figure it out together how about that all right we'll see you in a bit I got got the little piece I wanted to use. Try to use. What I did. I soaked it down really good in water. Just gave it a real good soaking. We're gonna try to form it around this. See what we can do. All right, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, I formed the leather around it. I used some clamps to give it its, you know, square-shaped form around that tin. And I'm just gonna let it set and dry. When it dries, it'll be back <clears throat> hard again, regular leather, and should be in that form. I did it like this because I'm gonna do a flat. I don't want the back of it to bulge out when you put the tin in. I've seen some people wet form them after the two pieces are sewn together, the front and back. But when you do that, the back bulges out too. I want it to lay flat against the belt and your body when you have it on. Anyway, we'll get back here in just a little bit. Alright, here's what we got after wet forming it. Just a shell. So what we'll do is uh, we're going to figure out where I want to cut it off at, slide it in, figure out the stitching, where I want to put the stitching for it, and it turned out pretty cool though, that slides right up in there.
All right, there's my first attempt at wet forming anything. I'd say it turned out pretty good. There's a few other ways I think I could do it a little bit easier, make it easier on myself, but all in all, it turned out good. But y'all did distract me because I sewed up, glued and sewed the sides and the whole thing together <clears throat> and I forgot to put my belt loop on. So I went ahead and just cut slits for the belt loop for uh, running it through your belt. I think it'll be alright. Anyway, there you go.